as you all know, the trials and tribulation that befell the Emmy of Kanu, how he was kicked out of Kanu State, how he was kicked out of his palace. And um, they said this happened to his great grandfather. He was also kicked out. He went out of Kanu State on exile, all because from what people have come to see, uh, it seems this family, they are outspoken and they want modern, they want things to be done in a modern way of life. But unfortunately, some of the monarchs there and some of their Islamic elites, some of their political elites do not want the lives of their people. In fact, they are the custodian of backwardness, retrogression in the northern part of Nigeria. The same group of Islamic teachers, some of their monarchs, and also inclusive of their politicians, are the reasons why there is Boko Haram terrorism in the northern part of Nigeria. They created this. And they also created their Marjorie system to be the, you know, that's the supply chain. That is where Boko Haram get young minds to you know turn them into terrorists they want this special allocation in the north and therefore they encourage more amadjuri children children that cannot be catered for they want them to keep giving back to children and pouring them down there on the streets so as to claim that they have more population it doesn't benefit the amadjuris they've decided to keep them on the street so they can use them but they've forgotten that these children will at the end of the day Hunt them and crush them down finally. They don't know what they are creating, but it's a pity that we ask them in this same one Nigeria because soon this same Amajiri will terrorize the south of Nigeria and Nigeria will not be a place that you can stay in. You don't know anything yet. This is a ticking time bomb. The first phase of it has already exploded. The second phase, I hope, will be able to survive it. Now, this Emir of Kanu, Sanusi 2, Lamido Sanusi 2, former governor of Central Bank, he has told those people, let us modernize ourselves. Let's put things together. We cannot continue with this culture of retrogression. We cannot continue with this. We need to upgrade. We need to stand up. We need to be able to put things right. We cannot continue to encourage terrorism. We cannot begin to continue to encourage Iswa Bokwaram and begin to feed them. Let us shut this thing down. Let us stop this imaginary children. We cannot continue to say because we need the North to collect more allocation. We need this for election and all of that. We cannot continue because soon this South of Nigeria will break away from Nigeria and we will be the only one left to this problem that we have created and we might not be able to handle it. And because of this, because this man is a progressive man, because he has progressive ideas, they decide to kick him out. They decide to, shoot, to crush him. They replaced him with one Bayeru, someone that shares the same ideology like them, someone that is ready to crush their people. I have a wish that many Aousa Fulanese in the north understand English. I have a wish some of them have access to internet and they can listen to this and realize what their elites are actually doing. I have a wish that the Boko Haram leader Shekau is listening to this and he can just crush these leaders and realize that these people are using them as as a tool to oppress themselves, but they themselves enjoy all the facilities or whatever they need. It's a pity. Well, the AG has decided to say that they did not banish Sanusi from Kanu. Is the Attorney General of Kanu State, Ibrahim Mokhtar, says the state government did not banish the deposed Emir Muhammad Sanusi too. Mokhtar said the government was clear in its, in its press statement on monday that sanusi was deposed but never made any reference to any banishment the kanu ag said this on channel television sunrise daily program on wednesday he said if you listen to the secretary to the state government when he was addressing the press on the issue of the removal of the emir from the office there was nowhere he stated that the emir was banished from kanu state so the decision of the government when the Emir was removed on Monday was that he was removed from office and a new one appointed. The issue of the banishment was not part of the decision of the Kanu state government, 
we have been hearing from the media that he has been banished but what i know is that it was taken out of Kano state but banishment was not part of our decision there is no such decision to the best of my knowledge now one will wonder what sort of stupid you know words are tumbling out from the mouth of this man what is the difference when you take somebody out of his palace and out of the state and you say you didn't banish him what have you done did he ask for transport to move out of his palace or move out of Kanu State? He never asked for a vacation somewhere, a sabbatical leave from his palace. So what is this that these people are talking about? We never banish him. He was banished. It's as simple as ABC. It's serious. It is a terrible thing. Anyway, Mukta said security agents decided to whisk Sanusi away from Kanu State due to intelligence reports they had. He said it was normal practice for the post emirs to be moved away to maintain peace in the state, adding that such an action was not in contravention of the constitution which guarantees freedom of movement. The AG further stated that Sanusi was not removed because of the corruption probe but strictly because of insubordination. And I like that word that he has not been accused of stealing, looting, because that is what he came up with initially, but the claim is removed as a result of insubordination. Insubordination in, in what aspect? Is it that he went into the government office and started slapping people or what, what is this insubordination? It's the same thing that many states in Nigeria come up with. Blueprint. We have a blueprint that we expect the government to follow. And what is this blueprint? The blueprint of oppression. The blueprint of sharing the state phone. The blueprint of looting. The blueprint of making sure that you water the garden of the godfather and always make sure that his own grass grows while the rest of the citizens of that state are totally in poverty. It's the same thing that is happening here. They said there is insubordination because he spoke truth to power. He said, stop this archaic practice. Enough of these Boko Haram activities. Enough of terrorism. Enough of the kind of Islamic. Can't you see the, the kind of Islam that is practiced in the southern part of Nigeria? Enough of this fanatical kind of Islam that we practice in the north. Enough of the Amajuri system. Let us get these children back to school. They are not productive. And let us start family planning. We cannot keep giving birth to kids and pouring them on the streets. Let us stop this Fulani headsman and get a ranch. Let us upgrade because soon Nigeria will break apart. And when Nigeria breaks apart, we will be left with what we have. And what we have is simply decay. And it is a serious thing. Well, it, they went further to say that they never banished him. And that they never did anything to him. They only asked him to stay away so as to retain peace. Well, I, I don't know what this is all about sometimes. I, I get so tired of what this country has become. When asked if the anti-corruption agency in Kanu would continue with Tanusi Promukta, rep responded and said no. Decision on that actually I cannot preempt the position of the government or whether investigation will stop or will continue. I cannot say as of now. Uh, well, as you can see, there is no corruption probe. There is no corruption. All they needed was to find a way to kick him. And I'm so afraid for the life of this man because where he has been kept in natural state, I don't think there is security. And this government, this Buaris government, is the government of the Amajiri, is the government of terrorists. If not, this man will not have the audacity. When this happened back then, good luck, Jonathan went in. You know, when you look at the, the, the Sultan of Sokoto before they started coming up with the Emir system and all of that, when you look at the old circle of these people, I don't know. The North, the North is a major problem. When you talk about retrogression, when you talk about backwardness, when you talk about things that are not working in Nigeria, the North is number one. Then the rest is the criminals that are in the South that are taking advantage of the system. It doesn't matter if they are not Northerners, if they, were, if they, they, are, they weren't born in the North. If you check all of them, they have the same mindset. Some of them in the South, they are operating like that of the North. And that is the reason why the North can keep on with what they are doing. The North has no power or authority over the rest of the, uh, of the South. But the reason why they can have such is because the people in the South that are criminals have given them that opportunity. 
Now, they said that the government, the state government has not taken laws into its hands. He said, let me explain that the decision to remove the EMEA from, the, from office is administrative. I was not based on the issues pending before the court. All the issues pending before the court have nothing to do with the removal of the EMEA or its detriment. Sanusi has been in Nasarawa State since his removal on Monday, and he has been denied access to visitors, according to his lawyers. So, they are the ones that kept Sanusi there. They have security officials to make sure that he doesn't come out. I am afraid for the life of this man. What I think this man should do at this point is for him to take his bags, find a way, and get out of Nigeria. That is just what it is. Get his family out of Nigeria. Stay out of that north. It's a shame that they've taken, up, taken off the throne from him, which is not supposed to be. But he should realize that there is nothing like one Nigeria. Now he cannot even ask for breakaway from Nigeria because it's from the north, the people that are the cause of Nigeria. They are the curse that has been placed on Nigeria, coupled with their brothers in crime in the south. That's what it is for now. If you're not a member of this channel, we can grow together. Tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell. Let's grow this channel together. And if you're already a member of this channel, I will always say a very big thank you for the support. Thanks. <music>